Hey everyone, let's take a look at number 12. It says a test consists of 80 multiple choice questions, each with five possible answers, only one of which is correct. Find the mean and standard deviation for the number of correct answers. Well, here's my variable, number of correct answers. So let me write that, right? X is number of correct answers in 80 questions. And you can imagine if you were taking a multiple choice exam and just going through it, you could get zero of the 80 correct, one of the 80, two, three, all the way up to you might get 80 out of 80, but this is definitely a discrete numerical variable. We would count the number of answers we got correct. And I wanna check if it's binomial. I don't wanna make a gigantic table. That sounds awful, especially with 80 questions on it. That would be a really, really large table. So let's see if this thing is binomial. I do have a fixed number of trials. I'm gonna take 80 questions on that exam. All right, I do have something I can deem a success. All right, that means I get a correct answer because that's what we're keeping track of here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the trials are independent. Whether or not I get one answer correct has no effect on whether I get the next one correct. And then the probability of success, well, it's a counting issue. Right, it said there were five answers and only one of oops, only one of which is correct. So the probability of success is one out of five. So I do get to say this is binomially distributed, 80 and then one fifth. Or if you want to write that as a decimal of 0 0.2, feel free. So I'm actually gonna write here that this is a binomial distribution. And then I get some formulas, right? So if I want the mean. We know that's n times p, or in this case, it's 80 times 1 fifth, and that's going to be 16 correct answers. Let me put the units here, correct answers. So that on average, somebody will get 16 correct out of this 80. If I want the standard deviation, it's the square root of n p, 1 minus p. So in this case, that's the square root of 80 times 1 fifth, and the complement to that is 4 fifths. And when you crunch that on your calculator, you get 3.578, and the units on that would also be correct answers. And let's see what we got here. So it means not 40, not 40, it is 16. Um, standard deviation is not 4, it's 3.578. There we go. All right, thanks so much.